kidney cancer has been for some years a Cinderella subject, but this all changed uh, about eight years ago now when a whole range of new drugs came in, mainly targeting the blood vessels supplying the tumour. And these have revolutionised the way we treat advanced disease. I say that it was a Cinderella subject until a few years ago, but in fact, uh, before that, the surgeons had already made huge progress, much greater than we physicians had made, I, it pains me to say, and that was really because they realised that they could take away much smaller amounts of uh, damaged kidney, so you remove the kidney tumour and only the m minutest part of the normal functioning kidney wherever possible, and this means that people uh, retain their kidney function, which they will need later in life and that's had major benefits for patients. The other major surgical advance is in terms of laparoscopic surgery where, or keyhole surgery where people can uh, have major operations even uh, done through the laparoscope or via the laparoscope. Uh, they're still major operations but the morbidity is lower. Well, I think there are three areas of really exciting uh, topics in kidney cancer. The first is that our understanding of the molecular biology of the disease has really uh, expanded enormously. Um, so we've known for a few years now about von Hippel-Lindau syndrome and the genetic abnormalities that can lead to that. Uh, and how they relate to sporadic disease uh, occurring in people who don't have the syndrome but are just developing kidney cancer um, on its own. And this has really helped us target our therapies and design new therapies. But our understanding of these abnormalities has further to go, and we're going to hear about that from Eamon Ma tomorrow. So that's the scientific side. On the surgical side, we've got one of the um, best-known surgeons in the world for kidney cancer, Indibia Gill, coming from LA to talk to us about novel techniques there. Uh, he's a real master of his craft, so I think that should be very much worth listening to. Um, for many surgeons, uh, open surgery uh, is possible, uh, where you can take away part of the kidney that's diseased, leaving the rest of the kidney to function normally. Um, one of the difficulties about doing this via the laparoscope is that laparoscopic surgery um, in some ways I understand is technically more demanding and the operations can last longer. Uh, now one of the key things in determining what remaining kidney function you have is the amount of time that the kidney is starved, the normal kidney is starved of its blood supply and that tends to be longer uh, with laparoscopic surgery than with open surgery. So uh, Indibir Gill is uh, investigating ways, and we'll talk about them, uh, of, of minimizing the ischemia, uh, the time where the normal kidney is starved of uh, blood supply, and also minimizing the effect of that starvation. And then we have uh, Cora Sternberg from uh, Rome in Italy uh, to tell us about the fairly uh, substantial new advances in kidney cancer in terms of drug treatment. Uh, not only the anti-blood vessel drugs, sunitinib, serafinib and their ilk, but also the other targeted therapies that target other parts of the uh, either the angiogenic pathways or other parts of the uh, molecular structure of kidney cancer which we can target.